Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Sessions from Lake Oswego, Oregon. We're a suburb of Portland, Oregon. I'm a practicing orthodontist here. I've been doing it quite some time. And this is going, going to be an Invisalign um, video regarding how to determine what number tray you're in. Now, it may seem obvious because um, patients are sent home with trays that are in packages that have numbers on them. But it's very common for a person to be at school, to be at work, or someplace where they're not, where they don't have their packages available. So if they are a call with an issue or a question regarding their Invisalign, most often the sister and myself will ask them, the first question we ask them is, what tray are you in? Um, and the quickest way to determine that is to take the tray out of the mouth and look at the numbers. Now the numbers are quite confusing, at least it seems to be that with patients. So say you had a case where you have 32 trays and uh, the trays take you from crooked teeth to straight teeth or bad bite to perfect bite. But let's just say this is going to be tray number 15 we'll be showing you. So I'll ask the patient to take the trays out, but this is just a simulation. So Amy's going to home in on these two trays. So the patient takes the trays out of their mouth and um, there's two sets of numbers. There's a Invisalign logo um, on one molar, but the opposite molar will have an Invisalign patient ID number. But on this case, it's a U designating the upper tray 15N means number 15. And then the opposite tray has a, and again, an Invisalign logo, but a patient ID number on the opposite molar with an L 15N. And the L means lower and 15N means number 15. So that should be pretty obvious. Now, there are times where trays get stained. It doesn't happen as much nowadays, so we, now that we have our patients changing their trays out every week. In the old days when we had, two or three years ago, when we had people trading their trays out every two weeks, the trays could get stained with coffee or tea or red wine or things like that that have tannins in them. Um, and if that's the case, you might need a magnifying glass, but basically you take the tray out and you home in on the opposite molar that doesn't have the logo, has a patient ID, but it'll have a L or a U, and the number of and the number uh, of which tray you're in. So that's pretty straightforward and simple. Thank you.